Hello and welcome to the premiere episode of Finder Buddies! So someone in the comments, Shellart4498, suggested that we should walk through the binders and have some videos of us putting the binders together. Honestly, I'm kind of excited about this because then this content will actually get into the binders. We have a lot of just piles of cards everywhere. We sorted them in Ziploc bags so that way we know which one goes to which set. But we can't say we have been keeping up with the binders. There's a lot of binders that haven't even been started. So I'm really excited. If this is interesting for you guys, then two birds, one stone. I can make you some content, we can get to know each other, and we get to look at all kinds of fun cards. So today, what we are working on is... Bells and Fates! So, we have started putting some of the content in here. We have some of the cards in here, and we'll walk you through it after. I'll move the camera and we can walk through and you guys can see all of the different cards. But for now, I'm gonna leave it at this angle while we put in the new cards, because I do have a stack of new cards that we need to put in. So the first one here is Espartha, which goes right into that slot right there, finishing off all of our grass. Then we move into the fire, and for some reason, we do not have Char Cadet, which is weird. So this is just a regular, plain old Char Cadet. Strange that we don't have it. We had the reverse hollow, but not the regular. And then the next bunch comes into the Psychic. So we can skip over the rest of the fire, the water. Water was super short. Skip over the electric. Now Psychic, this was a really heavy set, the Psychic set. I have no idea why there's so many cards. Here, I thought this was a new card, but it's actually right there. So we don't need that one. The next one is Mimikyu with 37. So let's just see what we're here. Mimikyu Falls, this is 38. So 37 would be here and here. And this is the reverse hollow. So we're putting it on the right side. We are keeping both. We're doing a full collection for all of the cards just because of the amount of cards that we actually open. We might as well do both. This is Grievard, and he is number, it will not focus on the camera, so I'll just read it to you. It's 42. So 42, this is 41, 42 should go here, and there's clearly a counting error here because it should not be right next to Houndstone. When we do these binders, typically it's late at night, and so they're not always a super accurate. Even still, this binder doesn't actually fit for the number of cards, so we will have to reshuffle all of the cards, but for the time being, we'll just leave it like this. Uh, so we don't have any in the fighting, so we're just gonna go ahead and skip that section and then get us into the dark. And here I have a Paldean Whooper Reverse Hollow, which we're gonna just slide in there right next to the, his little friend, the regular Paldean Whooper. And then we have Oinkalon, reverse hollow. So we have the Lee Chunk, Lee Chunk, Oinkalon, and up here in the top corner, which you might not get a great camera angle for, is Oinkalon. Get him in there. Ugh. Okay. And the last, which is not true, I do have a second set. Uh, the last of the regular cards is just a rare candy. So let's go back and find the rare candy. Here is the regular. This is the reverse hollow. So we'll just slide it in there. Now I do have some extra cards sitting in the pile over there. This are the, the special star cards. The name is escaping me. The mister would know it, uh, but he is elsewhere detained at the moment. So we're just gonna go ahead and put these in. So this is 124, this one is 113 and 111. So these are the green ones green ones and I would assume the red ones would be somewhere over here and since I know the book's not accurate anyway I'm just gonna just throw them in and I'll move them later this is 13 so that's 11 12 13 I might as well give some space uh, and palafin yes they're not in the right spot but like I said we have to move the whole set 
Uh, Palafin is 124, and Kitsuguri is 127, so he'd actually be before that. 127, oh, 26, 25, 24. Which would actually mean these red ones would be way up higher, but again, the book's not accurate anyway. I do have two last cards. Uh, so we have Wug Trio and we have Penny. Wug Trio is not new, Penny is new. But Wug Trio is, is a valuable card, so we still put it in the binder if there's space. And if it doesn't have space, we put it in a different spot so we can keep track of it. Uh, Wug Trio, Wug Trio. So we're just gonna throw it in at the back. So that way we have it, so we know we have it. We just throw it anywhere in the back. Guess I'll just throw it here. Wug Trio. And Penny, I don't think any of these are done in the right order. Let me just take a quick look at the numbers. 245, 235, 236, 216. They are not in the same order at all. So we're just gonna go ahead and just slide our little Penny at the back next to our Wood Trio. Get all in there, Penny. Okay. Now we're switching the camera so that way I can show you all of the cards we have. Um, and so the first half of the binder is done. It's supposed to be done in order that we might find some mistakes, but let's see what we got. So we've got the Pine Co regular and the reverse hollow. We've got uh, Forester, Forestress EX, uh, Marcactus, reverse hollow Marcactus, Toad School, Toad School, Toad School EX, and Espertha. So that completes our green section for us. The green section is completely done. So now we're moving into the fires. And so we have Charmander, Reverse Hollow Charmander, Charmeleon, no Reverse Hollow Charmeleon, Magmar, Magmar Reverse Hollow. This is supposed to be Magmortar, I believe, because we have the other one here. We need to have the, the Reverse over there. Uh, camera up, or Numo, Numo and that would be reverse hollow pneumo. Camera up, we have the reverse camera up. Uh, heat room, or if you're cool, heat rom. A heat room, <laughs> heat rock, rotum is the right name, but heat room is the fun one. Uh, Charcadet, reverse hollow Charcadet. Uh, we're looking at the reverse hollow armor rouge, which we're missing. So we're missing one, two, three, four, four in the fire. Yeah, four of the fire ones. Water was super short. We have Lapras, Reverse Hollow Lapras, Frigibax, and Reverse Hollow Frigibax. Electric, also pretty short. We've got the Pikachu, the Reverse Hollow Pikachu, the Raichu, the Hollow Raichu, and I couldn't tell you what goes there. I really couldn't. There's another, it's gotta be another electric Pokemon. I'd have to look at the list. Uh, and then we got the Lantern. We're missing the Reverse Lantern. We have Kilowattrel and the Reverse Hollow Kilowattrel. So Electric is pretty short and we're missing three is what we're missing in the Electric. Psychic was a big set. So we have a good chunk of, there's a lot of holes still too. So we have Execute and the Reverse. Uh, we do not have the Reverse Hollow of Executor. We have the regular Hollow Executor. We have Natu and Reverse Hollow Natu. Zatu, and we're missing the Reverse Hollow Zatu, which we go there. Ralt, Reverse Hollow Ralt. Kirlia, missing Reverse Hollow Kirlia. Could not tell you what goes here. Have to look at the book. Chimichu, Reverse Hollow Chimichu, we're missing. Mon Junior, got the Reverse Mon Junior. Woobat, missing the reverse hollow Woobat. Swoobat, missing the reverse hollow. Cottony, again, missing the reverse hollow. We have Wimmy Scott, Wimmy Scott reverse hollow. Deodine, reverse Deodine. Uh, we're missing the regular Mimikyu, but we have the reverse hollow, which is what we put in today. Fido, that glare from the light, I apologize, Fido. We're missing the reverse hollow that. We have dash bun and the reverse hollow dash bun. Somehow gotta block that light. Uh, we have 
curl edge. We're missing the reverse hollow of the curl edge. Little, we've got graveyard. We're missing a slot altogether. Graveyard should be have another one for the reverse hollow. Same thing with houndstone stone. Uh, there should be another slot for this one. So when we're updating the book, we'll have to make sure to leave space because we need the reverse hollow for that one. Gimme ghoul, we have both. And that would be the end of the psychic. So how many are we missing in the psychic section? We're missing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, plus an extra one. So we're missing twelve of the psychic. But the psychic was a pretty big section, so I'm not too upset about it. But okay, Mankey, reverse hollow Mankey, Primate, reverse hollow Primate. This would be the reverse hollow of Annihilate. Then we've got Phenampies, uh, Dawn Fan, we're missing the reverse hollow of the Dawn Fan, we're missing the reverse hollow of Barbox, and reverse hollow Clobberpus, and reverse hollow Rapalocked. And I couldn't tell you if this is another EX from this set or another EX of the dark set. Probably the fighting, but I could be wrong, I'd have to look at the set. So how many are we missing for this set? We are missing one, two, three, four, five, six, six. And then we move into the dark set. We've got Ghastlies, got them. Haunters, got them. Gengars, got them. Palladian Whoopers, also got them. Uh, we are missing the regular Scraggy. Can you believe that? I'm gonna have to go back and look at our doubles. I wonder if when we were going through them, we assumed we already had it. We have the reverse hollow. Uh, same thing with Scrafty. We have the reverse hollow and not the regular hollow. So I'm gonna double check in our card pile to make sure that we didn't discard it, just assuming we had the regulars. Often that happens because we just assume we have all the regulars. It's usually the reverse hollows that we're, we're missing. Um, we have a space here, so I'm assuming it's supposed to be an EX card. It could just be a mistake. And then there's another spot here, which I assume is for another card that we just don't have all together. And so then how many are we missing in the dark set? We are missing one, two, three, four, five, five in the dark set. And if we look at normal, I guess, correct me, because I know I'm wrong. What is this set? I don't know what the difference between this set and this set is. One is a star, one is triangles. I've never read the books yet, so I'm sure they tell you in the books if I, you know, took the time to read it. I don't. Between editing the videos, working, and, you know, life, I, I have not read the details of the books. Life is Pokemon. Holy moly, you scared me. I didn't know the mister was even around. I hope it got picked up. You were pretty far away from the camera, so if I just start freaking out and nobody heard it, it would be hilarious. Uh, Varum and Reverse Hollow Varum. Reverum, and we have the Hollow version. And then Iron Tread EX. And of course, our Goldingo. So then we have the Dragon sets, which we have Noibat, the Reverse Hollow. And then we are missing a card, which I'm assuming is an EX card. And then we also miss the Silazar Reverse Hollow. That set is pretty short, so really when we're missing two out of the five, it's, it's not super impressive, but. Uh, we have the Lee Chonks, the Oinkaloins, which we put in today, uh, the Tandemaeus and Marshall, Squawkabilly EX. We have so many Squawkabilly EXs. I'm gonna be real with you guys. I think we have like four or five. Lots of Squawkabilly. Um, Artisan, we've got both. Atticus, we've got both. We are missing the Clive, Reverse Hollow. We have the Electric Generators, Iona, Moonlit Hill. We are missing Nimona, even though the Mister seems to be obsessed with Nimona and keeps pulling her every chance he gets. Uh, Nimona's backpacks, got them. The Nest Balls, got them. Now, I was always wondering why there was always so many Paldean students is because there's two different sets of Paldean students. Sometimes they do that, but we're missing one out of the four. We're missing the reverse hollow of the second set. 
Uh, we've got the professor's researches, both of those are done. The rare candy, which we put in today, we put this one in today. And then we're missing a reverse hollow ultra ball. And I'm probably missing two more here, I would say. Uh, here, here, and here. So that's actually three if I could learn how to count. And next to the trainer cards, just because I would imagine that that one is actually in the correct spot because I'm looking at the one below it. I want to say it's in the right order. So how many trainer cards are we missing? We're missing one here, one here, one here. So that's three, four, five, six, seven. So pretty good considering how many trainer cards there are. I can't complain with that. And then these are the special star cards, which again, I don't remember what they're called, but I really, really like this art style. It's super cute. Uh, the hop it, the small it, we pull a lot of small uh, The Toad School, our Taurus that we put in today, who is definitely not in the right spot. And same thing with Ori Corio and Palafin. Our Katsutsuguri, Shinx, Watchel. Toxtricity and Tinkata, Riolu, and now our special cards. So here is Norvin EX, who's actually supposed to go on the other side, but here he is. Moshold, now we got our Toad Scroll, Clothesire, Nimona, Pommy. My dragon, my Charizard, my Dragonite. Shoot me now. My Charizard that I pulled. Um, really like this card. I like the art on it. It's it's a little dark, which is interesting for Charizard because usually he's that bright orange color. But I kind of like it. It's different, and I like it. We've got two Mimikyu's just chilling beside each other. Our Blue Meal, Wug Trio, which we have two of. Uh, Cory Don EX, Arvin. I love this Clive. I pulled this Clive and I actually think it's gorgeous. I love it to death. It's one of my favorite cards in this set. And our other Wug Trio and Penny. So that was our binder for Paldean Fates. We're doing pretty well. And moving forward, I'm I'll do a few more of these because in this particular fashion where the cards are already in the pack and we're just updating it because like i said we've already started putting some of them in and it's just a matter of we have to finish updating it but whenever we start a brand new book that will be the big day and it'll be a big video to go in and put them in never fun to do that it's a long process but at least if i'm doing it with you guys it might not feel so much as work because i know we haven't started I haven't we started definitely haven't done fusion strikes yet haven't done anything i don't think brilliant stars has a book either um a lot of them don't have binders but what we'll do is we'll do some quick short versions of these just so you guys can get a recap of what's in the binders up to this point and then like i said we'll just continue adding cards as we go so i hope you guys like this and uh, let me know what you think. Uh, how how do you guys want to do this? Do you guys want to hear more about the cards? Do you guys want to hear more about us, like a behind the scenes while we're doing this? Let me know and uh, we'll pivot, just like we always do. So we're always looking for your input. Thanks for watching.